What's up everyone? So let's talk about hormones and sleep now. People don't realize how important hormones play into the sleep cycle. And unfortunately, as we age, our hormones drop, which makes us have um, crappy sleep. Um, there is a direct uh, relationship there between hormonal status and the level of deep sleep that we're getting. So let's talk about women for a minute. So in my females, what happens is if they're cycling, that means they have a menstrual cycle and they have a lot of PMS, that typically means that they have low levels of progesterone during um, the back half of their cycle, which can cause a lot of sleep disturbances. And so we know that when we give them a little extra progesterone, they sleep better at, at night. Then I have menopausal women. So those are the women who have uh, stopped having a menstrual cycle um, or in that perimenopause where they're kind of hit or miss on their periods. Hormones are all over the map at that point. Um, those particular ladies, they have deficiencies in estrogen, testosterone, and progesterone. So they got a nice little trifecta hidden. So when that happens, they're having hot flashes at night. They have night sweats. Um, they have mood swings. They are just all over the map. So the chances of them getting deep sleep is pretty much slim to none. So when I treat these ladies and I'm giving them the estrogens, the progesterones, and the testosterones that the body needs, that mind calms down, the hot flashes go away, the night sweats go away. They can finally get this deep sleep that they hadn't had in some quite, quite some time. And this allows them to be in a much better mood the next day and have the mental clarity, their immune system's up, and they're ready to kind of tackle their day. Same thing happens with men. Men, we release our testosterone at night. It's in a, a pulsatile fashion. Our levels are usually the highest um, first thing in the morning. But once again, as we age, uh, or for other reasons, our testosterone levels drop, also affects our brain the same way. We lose some of the, the dopamine and the serotonin that we get, uh, so we don't have as calm of a mind. Um, and that will preclude us from having our deep sleep. So, so it's interesting. It's not something that you know, is always brought up in, in a patient visit, um, you know, their sleeping patterns and how they relate to hormones, but they all notice after the hormones are replaced, they sleep so much better and so soundly that they can actually get up and perform their daily duties. So if you're having trouble sleeping um, and you're over the age of 35, 40 or above, male or female, if you think that your hormones are going haywire and it's interrupting your sleep, they probably are. So, you know, just give us a call and, you know, let's get some blood work and see where we're at, get the body optimized and get these sleeping patterns much improved. So get out there and get optimized, everybody, and always remember to do the work. Have a good day.